Hi guys, it's Justine. Welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to show you guys how I like to style my shoulder length hair. So a lot of people think that there's not much variety you can do with shorter hair, but uh, personally I style my hair a lot more frequently with shorter hair than I did when I had my hair down to my waist. So I'm going to show you guys some of my favorite ways to style my hair, my go-to methods, and I'm going to be trying out my Fancy new straightener from Aria Beauty. I'm super, super, super excited about this guy. So I'm going to be using that in the video, and I hope you guys enjoy. I started off with total bed head, so I went to bed with my hair a little bit damp, so it's pretty unruly, and then I put it in a bun as well. So I'm just going to brush that out before I get started. I'm going to separate my hair into two sections to make it easier to work with. I set the straightener to 450 degrees. Normally I wouldn't use such a high heat, but because this straightener uses infrared technology, it really doesn't damage the hair very much and it leaves it silky smooth. I straightened my hair towards my face because my hair has the tendency to flip outwards, so I wanted to combat that. I'm just going to repeat what I just did with the second layer of hair that I now took out. Alright, so I am done my sleek and straight look and I didn't need to add any product to this, it's just silky smooth and wonderfully touchable and it's awesome. So yeah, I can't, can't stop running my fingers through it. Alternately, I do like to wear my hair a little bit messier, a little bit more like a refined bed head. So I'm just going to add some uh, hairspray and tease at the roots to get some more texture into my hair. I'm flipping out over how good this hair flip looks. So again, I'm just going to section off my hair and work with the bottom layer first, just so it's a bit easier to work with. So when I do the curls, I grab about a one inch section of my hair and then I'm going to take the straightener and turn my wrist 180 degrees. Then I'm just going to let the straightener make its way down my hair going from essentially root to tip and then releasing and it'll make a nice little bouncy curl. As you can see I kind of twist the straightener away from my face. So it's not imperative that you make all of the sections the exact same width. I actually find it quite nice to have some smaller, some thinner curls, and some bigger ones as well. So when I do the curls on the back of my head, it's usually quite difficult to see, and you can kind of see me struggling in the video here, especially with my makeshift setup. So I usually just take a mirror so I can see the sections in the back and make sure that I haven't missed curling anything. So now I'm just going to take out the other layer of my hair and, uh, and start curling that one. And there you have it. This is called the peekaboo look. So it's half straight, half curly, double the fun. Yeah, just kidding. So I'm gonna uh, finish curling this top layer of my hair and we'll be almost ready to go. So 
So once I finish doing all of the curls, I'm really just gonna tousle my hair like crazy. I wanna break apart the curls. I don't want there to be too much rigidity within the hairstyle. And once I'm done tousling, I'm just gonna do a quick little straightening just of the roots to smooth out any frizziness that might have occurred when I was tousling the hair. There you have it, that's how I like to style it wavy slash curly. I usually don't hairspray it afterwards because I, I actually like throughout the day. I like it to fall a little bit, look a little bit more uh, loose and wavy as opposed to curly. Because of the summer heat right now, I often do have my hair half up just to get some of my hair out of my face. So here's it uh, just with the top section tied up. Alright, so that is a wrap on how I style my hair using a flat iron. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comment box below. And see you next time. Bye!